Hello, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Sharon, aka the Melon Nostalgic Runner. And we are back. Um, well, this is actually kind of a little bit of a get fit with me series presents accountability slash a little bit of some updates of what's been going on with me because I haven't really checked in or talked for a minute um, about my own personal stuff versus like the housewives of it all. And also updates on the channel and where I plan to take the channel going on 2025 because I've already been kind of thinking of, pardon me. I kind of been already thinking about that a little bit because um, I guess what I will say is I have loved this journey of starting this channel. It's been growing, like it grew initially super fast. Like I got my first hundred subscribers fairly, I think within the first two months of me having the channel, which was wild. And then slowly but surely since then it's been slowly growing ever since. Like. Um, for those who come to the channel and support it, I really, really, really do thank you because now I think I'm at, um, 330 subscribers, which honestly, considering the fact that I just planned on doing this as like a little bit of a side fun project and a way to get my creative outlet going off, um, and well, I've been planning a podcast for years, but um, as far as doing YouTube and me just doing it, that started February of 2023. So for those who've stuck around, who've been, you know, hanging in there with me, I do appreciate it. Um, I've had a lot of changes happen within those like year and a half, which is kind of crazy that a lot has happened. Um, this, this channel helped me get over a breakup friendship breakups because I have multiple friends that I kind of lost when it came to that too. Um, job breakup, <laughs> um, getting a new job, me turning 40, like a lot has happened. And some of those things happened just like this year, um, working through depression, running injuries, which indeed also caused part of the depression. Um, coming out of the other side of it. If you see my nails, and I, I show my nails a lot lately, and I do that because when you see this, that means I'm probably the most mentally healthy I've been in a long time. Like, um, when you, when things happen and when stressors happen, one of my main problems that I do is I bite my nails. And so I would say from like 2021, to like 20, until this year, I was buying my nails heavy. Um, 2019, even though I was working so crazy and everything, I had plenty, I had the nails. Even 2020, I was okay. And what I will pinpoint it to is the last job I had before this job, I hated it. I did not like the job, um, but I thugged it out and stuck it out because I knew in order for me to get to the job I'm at now, which I don't love this job either, but I do like it more than my job I had before. Um, I knew I had to stick it out in order to get to the point where I can make the income that I wanna make and make a living for myself. Um, one thing that my dad has taught me is that you have to, sometimes you gotta do things you don't wanna do for the bigger prize. Um, just hopefully you can work your way where you don't have to do it permanently. And I was, you know, before my job let me go, you know, back to that whole thing, I really was going to just like stick with it. Um, I was trying to find another job outside that job within the same company, but that really wasn't, looking back, that wasn't gonna be the solution. Um, the solution that I have right now, what is happening with me now, was the act, absolute solution. So even though things happen, things that you don't expect happen, it's always like, always try to look at it as a blessing. For me, it's always turned out that way. Everything that has happened has always been a blessing one way or another, even though it may seem catastrophic, weird, or uh, the ordinary. And one thing, um, I guess one thing got me thinking about this was what happened this past weekend. So this past weekend, for those who are aware, um, cause th some of y'all who, who watch this channel, y'all actually know me, know me. Um, <laughs> um, 
some of my personal close friends, they got married. Um, two of them, got, well, they got married. Um, I'm close with them. I will, I would like to think equally, like I love them both equally, um, different ways, but them both equally. And they kind of, and they have this union and, um, they're part of like my core friend group that honestly through therapy, uh, last year and really the year before, I think 2021 is when I started the journey with my therapist I have now, um, that was my goal. I really wanted to cultivate friendships that were so close that they're like a family. And this was the group I was with. And um, it was a blessing. It was amazing. I enjoyed it. We had all, we had a great time. <laughs> Probably a little too good of a time. Um, but I knew I was going to do that. Like, I don't let my I don't let myself go often anymore, um, which is a good thing. That's something I've actually been actively working on to not do too much all the time. But every once in a while, I take it there. And this was a case of if there's going to be the occasion to do it, this would be the one to do. So my face was beat. I was all glammed up. I will show you a picture right here. What was giving and um, bodysuit snuffleupagus like I have my lashes and everything and um the wig I didn't have enough time to do what I wanted to do with that wig because I really wanted to put it on them but like everyone thought the wig was amazing but in my head I'm like child if you only knew I could have really judged this up more than what I already did but like I was already running behind on time because my time management when it comes to getting cute and going out the door it's it's still, it's still a work in progress. It's not what was pre-pandemic. Pre-pandemic, I used to be able to get it done, but it was just a lot to get done in one day. And um, I guess looking back, I should have did my nails the day before, but I did my nails the same day and I still didn't finish them. Like I wanted to actually paint them and make them look like they're, you know, th I mean, they look like they're professionally done, especially on this side. This side got some work to do, but Anyway, neither here nor there. I really just wanted it to look good and go to this wedding. And it was so much fun. It was so much fun. I had a moment and it really only came to me when Ashley came to the table of the bride. She came to the table and she's like, you know, saying her highs to everyone because it's still around the time where everybody's still there before our core group is just there left and then we can, you know, they can actually truly let loose. Because, you know, bride and groom people, they have to, you know, kind of pay, play politician during the actual wedding, the, the celebratoriness until you know, the family leaves, if that makes any sense, um, for those who are familiar with going to weddings or being in a wedding. Um, and um, this is also a side note. This is the same group or same people that bath, the bachelor party went to earlier this year. It's the same people. Um, so anyway. She came to our table. She was just talking to some of the people. We already talked before because I made sure I, I got to it right away. <laughs> and um, I just had a moment when I was looking at every, all of us at the table. And even there was other people that weren't necessarily at our table because our table wasn't that big enough to like have everyone included. But like they knew what they were doing. They had the people that sit at the table. That's the group, the group that we all hang out with regularly. So like they 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 knew what they were doing. Like the click was all at the same table. Um, we don't have a name or nothing, but you know what I mean. You get the vibes. And so we were just all looking at each other and like, and I just had a moment where I feel like I just had to say it. And I even got thanked for saying it, but I was like, we're actually really blessed. And they're like, why are you saying that? I was like, you know, did you ever when you were 20? I, I, I asked everyone this, and I want you guys to ask yourself this sometimes too, especially those who might be a little bit older or closer to my age group. When you were 20, did you envision your life being this way? And it wasn't a negative that way. It was a this way because, look, we were in a nice, nice venue in Chicago. Getting married in Chicago is no joke. You, 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 you can't just be getting married in Chicago without the coins. You got to have something. Okay. And we were in a very prominent historical place where we got married at. Well, I mean, where they got married at. And we're all dressed to the nines. We all look good. This, the presentation, what they're given is giving. 
it, it's one of them, okay? So we're all looking at each other, we're like, we are all very, very successful people. Like all of us, we're all equally yoked. We all have went, you know, we all come from pretty humble beginnings and we're all just doing good. Cause I mean, I, truthfully, most of my friends are middle class friends. Um, I don't have any upper middle class. I mean, technically, maybe they're concerned upper middle class, but like, we're middle class friends. Um, probably the only people that, I mean, there might be a handful of people that might be lower middle class, but we're all very much middle class friends. Um, them trying to eliminate the middle class, way, <laughs> you could try, it's one of them. Like, we're, we're doing all right, okay? And I just had a moment where I was like, wow, we kind of did that. We did that. And we all look good. We're all together. We all come from different backgrounds. And I'm like, we, we did that. And I was like, you know, just something about her presence being right there made that come out. And they're like, wow. I was like, yeah, I don't know what it was, but it was literally, it, it, was, it was from her being right there. It wouldn't have never came up if she wasn't right there, but I just kind of looked at her. I looked at like her her husband, her now husband, and I just looked at all, all of us as a group, as a crew. I'm like, wow. You know, you sometimes have to just remember and remind yourself of that because the world is kind of crazy right now. Not kind of, the world is crazy. And there's a lot of negative things happening. Um, but the thing is, there's always a lot of negative things happening. I think just now we're at an age where we're more aware than ever of the negative things happening. And you just have to remind yourself like, okay, negative things are happening. But is my life negative? What can I do because I have so much good things going on? Is there something I can do to help? combat that negative energy and negativeness is happening with the world. And I guess one thing I figured out, and maybe it helped that I had a little bit of a reading last week. <laughs> Actually, I had a couple readings lately and I'm not sure where that's coming from. People just been inspired to do that with me. And they're like, you just have this positive energy about you. And even when I'm not positive myself, it's just there. It's one of those things that's always been there. And Maybe that's what I've discovered with this channel more than ever. That's what I need to do. Um, yeah, I say my things and say my tea about the housewives or whatever. But like, for those who know me, and I think I've tried to say a PSA at the beginning of me watching these shows. I don't know these people in real life. I'm just going off of what's on my screen and then I keep it moving. But outside of that, I try to be a pretty positive person and I try to exude positive energy, even in my commentary of people on like Via Housewives and any other shows I watch and even the Get Fit With Me series that I do want to get back to doing, but I just want to make sure I'm a little bit more in a healthier um, physical space for that. Um, because for those who don't know, I did have a race recently also. And um, I did run on Saturday, the day of the wedding. And in a weird way, that was the first time I ran. I ran like a mile and a half that was like relatively pain-free. So we are making progress. But I want to make sure I'm 100% healthy before I pick up, pick back up the yoga and everything else and start doing that on this channel again. And um, yeah, um, I know I'm just kind of rambling right now, but I just kind of wanted to share uh, how I feel when it comes to a lot of the things that are going on. And hopefully this inspires you. Um, I originally thought this was going to get fit with me series presents accountability. I guess it kind of is because it's an accountability thing, but it's also me just kind of providing an update of how I've been feeling, what's been going on. Um, also too, I think I probably should share. I did start going back to therapy about a month ago. Um, not because I was in a bad headspace. If anything, I'm actually in a much better headspace. I just think now I'm ready to process things now that I'm in a better headspace. So for those who are somewhat, for those are people who actually go to therapy, um, don't think you have to stop going to therapy just because you're doing better. That's not how that works. Sometimes you do want to go back when you are doing better so you can reflect on things. And I personally do use that as a tool. And I've also had a couple moments this summer where I was 
kind of going backwards in the way I was thinking, particularly when it comes to like relationships um, of the romantic variety. Um, because that is still something that is a work of, somewhat of a work in progress for me. Um, I do find whenever it's some type of romantic partner of any kind, and I even caught myself doing it yesterday, um, of all things, um, I go to people pleaser mode and I need to stop that. Simple. I need to stop that. And it really only happens when it's a romantic partner. Um... And this is why I'm single, <laughs> by the way, um, because I, I, I could easily not be, but because I know I have these traits that I still need to work out and stop doing, we're staying single. And also too, I do have major goals that I'm trying to accomplish first and I don't want any distractions. And that's the one thing that distracts me the most is romantic, um, Romantic intimacy, not friendship intimacy, no any other forms of intimacy, but romantic intimacy, um, not necessarily just the sexualness of it all, but just a closeness because it's still hard for me to figure all that out um, because I have some things I personally still am working through and I'm, I'm very much aware of it. I'm on the journey of we're going to stay single. Um, and we're going to try <laughs> to get back to celibacy because, yeah, I, that kind of got messed up for a second. But anyway, <laughs> so that does pretty much conclude my video. Um, I think I'm going to cut off that last part of what I just said, but, uh, yeah, I, I guess a couple conclusions I'm going to just state with this video. One content if you are someone who's out there that needs inspiration look at yourself in the mirror and just realize you're probably more blessed than you realize because there's always someone who's doing worse than you and i'm not saying that that you should be comparing yourself to others because i don't think you necessarily should um i personally compare myself to my old work and how i used to be and the way i used to be and the way i handle things now a thousand times better um, I think in a weird way, even though I am heavier right now, when I was heavier in my 20s versus being heavier now, I guess the way I carry myself, I'm just way more attractive. Like, just in general. Um, whether I'm big or small at this point in my life. But that's maybe because I just know who I am. And I think when you don't know who you are, you don't realize, you know, that you wear that. You wear when you don't know who you are on your face and everything else. But because I know who I am, I'm wearing it and I wear it proudly. And it just is a weird way, in a sense, kind of a law of attraction. And I don't know anything about the law of attraction thing, but I guess I'm saying it's my personal version of law of attraction. Like when you know who you are, it, it, people can see it. And when they, and if you know you're solid, you're a good person and you try to exude positive energy, you're like a moth to a flame. You just attract people. And that's definitely the case with me. But like, I, and that's one thing too. I knew that for a very long time that I had this thing about me that I attract energy and people to me, but I did not know how to contain it and control it. And I think now I've been working on that a lot more and it's been, interesting but anyway that does conclude the video please like comment subscribe to the channel if you get anything out of the content it's your girl sharon aka the melon nostalgic runner and i will see you next time bye